Good afternoon. We are Team 6 Analytics, and our product is MediDash, a real-time data display for healthcare providers to improve patient care. As a physician at Stanford, I often struggle with the patient overload and a lot of data that I need to review in the medical record. Even with graphing of the data, we still struggle to make simple associations like when the white count was elevated, what were the vitals doing and how did the x-ray look? You can do it, but it takes a lot of clicks. So the real pain point we're addressing today is the limited real-time data sharing of vitals, diagnostic testing, and therapies all in a simple timeline. Uh, for example, the radiologists uh, who are interpreting a chest x-ray, they have many to go through, and all they receive might be one line of information, such as a cough. And they don't have anything about the vitals or the white counts, which could be very useful information. So oftentimes you see the words in their report, clinical correlation recommended. So here's an example of Charlie, who's a 45-year-old male. He has lung disease, and he presents to the emergency department with a fever and a cough and he's gonna be admitted to treat suspected pneumonia. So during his admission process, he's generating a lot of data. They're drawing some labs, uh, these are all at different time points, and yet what's most important is trying to get the therapy started at an appropriate time. So now imagine that you have a dashboard timeline that starts exactly when the patient is getting to the hospital, and it's auto-populated with data that comes from the health suite, which includes vitals and imaging data, as well as pulling some information from the electronic record, such as labs and therapies. So you can imagine that this dashboard is like an overlay on top of the electronic record. So the doctor would just click over from the record, and then let's say the radiologist is reading the x-ray, they would immediately have that information at their fingertips of how the patient was doing in terms of their temperature, white count, et cetera. And likewise, there would be real-time sharing information pushed to the bedside doctor as well. For example, the pulmonologist can then aggregate all that information uh, to make a better decision on what to do next. So now we're going to get into our MediDash demo. <clears throat> so this is what the dashboard screen would look like, uh, how we envision it to graph multiple information on a chronology basis. So we have a timeline on the top that shows you when the x-rays were done, when the IV therapy, let's say Levaquin to treat the pneumonia, and then in relation to the relevant parameters, like how is the oxygen doing at that time? How is the temperature trending? And then you could also pull in the x-rays, and then instead of having to search over and find where all that data was of how the white count was doing as the x-rays were done, you would just have it right there at your fingertips and see that trend over time. And so it's a new way of visualizing the data. The data is all there, but it's not organized in a way for efficient use among the physicians. So we envision when any provider logs in, there would be a summary information about the patient, such as Charlie here. Uh, in his first day of admission, we have all the relevant labs and vitals, treatments and imaging data in one place. And we're actually presenting it in the way that doctors are used to seeing, such as the way the labs are listed there. And then we would have information maybe up in the top that would be notifications like prompting, well, did the patient have a pneumovax uh, because of their pneumonia? And then you would click, let's say, to day five nearing the end of their stay, and you'd see, oh, actually, the vitals changed. It's auto-populating that information so that you don't have to go and adjust columns and things that we normally do right now as a physician. So our real value add here is that we're organizing data in a different way. We are correlating it on a time basis. We are uh, helping the doctor at the point of care for an intervention. All the information they need to make that decision is pushed directly to everyone on the care team, which will result in better, more efficient, less costly care. And we also believe that the analytics uh, features of our dashboard will help improve hospital quality outcome metrics, such as how long did it take Charlie to receive antibiotics. Uh, we would be able to look at new observational trends and analytics by now we can actually parse the data. So why would Philips be interested in this? It would be a software as a service for hospitals, and Philips could validate then home monitoring uh, to follow after the inpatient care was done. And it would be able to apply machine learning algorithms because now you have data associated with diagnoses and how they're doing rather than just freeform data. 
And finally, it would benefit all the stakeholders, including everyone seen here. It looks like my time's up, but both the patients, clinicians, and hospitals would benefit. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. So questions now from the judges. Very nice presentation, and I like it that you accounted for how it would fit into the workflow. Um, so aside from linking to this high-function aspect that's not in EMR right now, how would you maybe summarize um, and push some summary reports back into the EMR? Have you thought about doing that? Yeah, certainly for an overlay, you need to have a two-way communication, and you don't want to duplicate data uh, you know, as a separate parallel chart, because then there would be too much to look at. And, you know, with HL7, we believe that the uh, information you need to pull, like the patient information, would just automatically come in, so we don't have to necessarily rewrite new information. So the doctor would still uh, do their normal charting, like they do in any record system, but this would be uh, kind of like a cockpit dashboard. Let's say you could even do it as more of like a Google Glass, HoloLens, or you know, you're looking at the main chart, and then all your information would be on the side, and thus then you can type what you would really be doing in the chart, so you don't have to double chart. Um, yes, nice presentation, um, and I like the um, idea that you can look and see what's happening at certain time periods. My question to you is, how customizable is that? Could I decide I want to pull in? Um, temperature, I, I forget which one you had in the bottom, and I want to bring it up and have it overlay with the other, um, yeah. you know, with the other data points so I can see how things correlate. Right, so whatever, oh, you've got the right. white, white count. Can right. I actually drag the white count up and have it be overlaid on, on the uh, temperature in O2? Right. Eventually, we actually planned for that. This was more proof of concept because we built all this uh, just this weekend, where it's the first time we worked together. Uh, but we do envision that you could select all the relevant parameters and actually already based on common admissions to the hospitals, you know, patients who are coming for CHF, there's certain things you always want to know. Patients with COPD exacerbations, and that could be the front template that you could, you know, select as a provider that you want to see each time you go in, as well as have notifications, you know, to yourself that as soon as BMP comes back, it would be pushed to you. What about algorithms to recommend? Could you, so if you see correlations, it says, you know, if you see this plus this, then you should think about that type of thing. Yes, that actually is considered phase two of our project. So this is more like we've come up with a way to display, and that's what we're demonstrating to you today. But we do believe that, you know, in terms of big data aggregation and, and doing future analytics, you actually need to have the entire course of that patient and how they did. Because if you don't, if you just choose claims data or you just use, you know, the imaging, you can't really make conclusions like that unless you're actually saying, this is how long the patient stayed there, this is what actually was done during their stay, and now we can predict that this is how long, on average, patients need to stay for this condition, things like that. I just want to circle back to the workflow thing one more time. You have the opportunity to create, uh, you have aggregated the data, and so rather than typing into the EMR each reason and justification why you reached a conclusion, you can template that from what you've already got there. You've aggregated because the white count is this, because the chest cash were this, because their trend was this, I conclude blah, blah. So you can semi-template the note for them already. It's just a workflow efficiency piece. Might, might be something that might be useful. Uh, just a question on the, if the radiologist is one of the key benefactors of using this, this um, uh, you know, capability, um, today, the, don't the radiologists have to get through many, 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 um, you know, uh, images and diagnose very, yes. very quickly? Do you envision that that would have to change, go from a quantity kind of mode to a qu higher quality mode by using your, your tool? Or, you know, what, what, does this, what impact does this have to the radi radiologist, and, and what's their incentive to change that? Yes, good question. Um, we actually tried to uh, ask some radiologists how they would feel about all of a sudden you know, during their current workflow, they have to assimilate more information. But in fact, they thought that they could make more efficient diagnoses with additional clinical information because now you can target in on something you're looking for specifically, as opposed to before you had cough and now you just have to look at everything and so that takes longer. So they in fact thought that it would improve their workflow. Okay, thank you very much.